going on guys? My name is Josh. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm here with some more Sky Factory and I know I've been kind of rushing this into your guys' faces and that's because Sky Factory has just been so much fun lately and I want to make sure you guys get enough and you guys seem to really like it. Like people are commenting every day that they want more, more, more and um, I'm trying my best and uh, I, need, I need suggestions and whatnot to do it still. Even if I am doing more, because you do, it is not easy to think of, like, new ideas every single day. They come to you over time. But, uh, other than that, I did think of some stuff to do today. Uh, long-term projects, though, I want to get an enchantment table set up. And then, here in the open blocks mod, you can see here, there is, not canvas, where is it? I have three pages, wow. Clicker, pointer, that's cool. Uh, they have a auto enchanter right here, and then an XP drain. So I think that these guys do, I, I, I don't know exactly what they do. I'm gonna have to look into that, but I do wanna get an enchantment room going, and um, I wanna get XP. So speaking of XP, we're going to work on that today. So you can see our nether crop has actually been growing pretty well. So we do have nether essence, earth essence over here. What is this? Um, ender. So this guy's been doing well too. We got a lot of ender. And then over here, we need our regular essence, which is cooking up as fast as it can. But you can do better. And this guy over here, well, this guy is doing extremely well, like usual. And then finally, this guy, redstone like usual, is doing pretty well. But what if we go here and we make ourselves an ex experience seed? One of these guys. You can see that you can use them to get an experience orb, but it gives 40 experience, which is kind of cool. The experience seed, though, is kind of, kind of difficult to make. You can see you need blaze rods and magma cubes and let's see. Well, magma cubes you can make easily. It's the blaze rods where we need the blaze essence to make. So let's look at that. Blaze essence whoops uh blaze seeds you can see it needs blaze rods to make them okay i don't actually think i have any so that might require us going to the nether and um getting blaze rods because that's a bummer i know i have um hmm i know i have blaze powder but i don't think you can use blaze powder to make blaze rods exactly yeah you can see i have blaze powder um, nothing in there. Blaze over here. Yeah, no blaze seems to be coming in, so that means we are gonna have to head into the nether. And that's not something I actually was expecting for today, so I guess we're going to have to see what it's like. So I'm gonna go get some obsidian ready, and I'll be back in a second, guys. I have a little bit of a problem. You go through this guy, and well, when you get to the other end... There is nothing. This is... Th there's nothing on the other end of the portal. It's such a disappointment. And it also worries me what's going to be on the other end of the ender portal. But how are we supposed to get Blaze? That is the question I'm now running into. Because Blaze... You can't use it, the Blaze powder, to make it into Blaze. You can make angry dolls, but those guys don't do what you want it to do. So, how do you get Blaze is really a question, because we can't get Blaze Essence. Um, red Mob Chunk. Yeah, we can't... Hmm. There's no way to really get this. I'm gonna have to look something up on next X and Hillow and see if we can do it, so I'll be back in just a second. All right, I figured it out, and it is not gonna be fun, but we are going to do it. The way you have to do it is by making these dolls and making a bunch of things. Oh man, I don't want to do this, but um, it's necessary. It's for science. It's for science. Anyway, we need some porcelain clay, so that means we're going to need to get ourselves some clay. And I actually believe we have some porcelain clay up here. I think Ashley, a few episodes, yes, made a lot of an extra amount of it. So yes, perfect, perfect. So it's going to go porcelain clay literally just like that. We're going to go like that. There's a regular doll. And then what we need to get is dye it with some blaze powder, um, a nether wart, and some glowstone, and a redstone. So blaze powder. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two redstone. We need two, or, um, four glowstone. And 
we need two nether warts. One, two. Perfect. And now we are going to go here. We're going to place these dolls there. We're going to go glowstones on either side, nether warts, and then redstone, and two on each side. There we go, an angry doll. And next, we need a bucket. Bucket. One bucket should do. We're going to place everything else that we don't need in there. And let us go. Man, let's, let's do this. <sighs> let's hope things don't go crazy. We're going to keep him over in this area because in this area, it's not going to burn him up. Or he's not going to... That was good. Um, he's not going to light anything on fire, so we should be fine with that. So we're going to go there. We need a bucket of lava. Then we're going to place this bucket of lava in there. Place that guy. And man, oh man, do we wait. We wait for the night to go. He's going to go. And a blaze will spawn. You can see it's a 600, or a 3006 colon zero. So I believe that means it is activated. It took one of our angry dolls and it won't take the other one. So we should be fine. And it takes about 30 seconds, I believe, until one spawns. But you can see it definitely is jumping lava everywhere. We're going to stay by, stay to the side, because I don't really want to die from him. Also, I got these amazing Technicolor glasses. No idea what they do, but um, they are they look pretty cool and very awesome. Let's see, a blaze should spawn any second. Getting random lag from this, though. There we go. Oh, come on, man. No blaze rods. That is so cheap. Come on. All right, let's sleep this out. I hate these guys sometimes. Man, that was so cheap on its part. All right. Come on. spawn any second now hopefully this one will give us two because the blaze seeds need four blaze rods and that's what I think I'm gonna do and then um, spam that for more blaze rods for the other thing because I don't really think I want to be doing this very often all right let's wait come on there we go one blaze rod awesome all right i'll be back i'm gonna get a bunch more blaze rods and i'll see you guys in a second i hate blazes man that took oh god that took just so much work it's unbelievable the amount of blazes it takes all right so what we're gonna do now is actually make ourselves this next guy so let's grab here we're going to need to take our weak infusion stones and then we are going to go like this. So one of these, one stack, I believe, wasn't it? Can make enough. Or was it four stacks? Yeah, it had to have been four stacks to make. Yeah. Hmm. All right, well, that makes a strong one. And you need strong for this, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, four stacks to... That'll be good. That'll make another one. And do 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 and boom and do 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 and boom and finally the last stack do 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 and boom do 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 boom do 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 boom okay and a seed and we should be able to make this guy perfect so now we have these blaze seeds let's head over to the redstone area let's teach the redstone the redstone sucker upper how to utilize those let's teach that like that we're gonna get rid of the redstone seeds for now oops we're going to tell it not to use those keep the redstone in there cool and now I want to find where we, I want to get our, um, 
watering can. These guys are awesome. You guys know about them, but they're awesome. So I, I don't know if one with bone meal actually does any help, but uh, let's make one because, you know, they'll really help us. And we'll do it with bone meal, whatever. All right, so we need one, two, three. Then we're going to need some stone. We have it upstairs, smooth stone and a bone meal. And we can do it. The best part about these is that they're just so easy to do. And they just increase the speed of creating crops by a significant amount. Man, I'm excited for this. All right. Just going to sleep. In three, two, there we go. And then uh, after we have this guy set up, my plan is to get those experienced tomes going. And then I want to also do some upgrades for our guy downstairs. And really, overall, just have a kind of chill upgrading day today. Because that is something that we need. Just stay to step back and say, hey, the series is awesome. Let's not whip through it. But yet, let's still do some episodes for you guys. Because that's how I kind of feel like today should be. Anyway, let's go over here. And we are going to... There we go. I forgot you had to right-click water first. You can see Blaze Crop. Come on, Blaze Crop. You can grow. 14%, 29 and 43. I love the uh, Wayla mod. It tells you just how the growth percent. 57, 71, 86 mature. And this guy should come. He's going to set it and come through. So over here while we're waiting. This does a 3x3 three three radius so it can grow all of these. Perfect. This should help for growth for sure though. And three, two, one, zero. One more. All I want to do is grow one more. All right, I'm going to get a bunch of the blaze essence and I'll be right back, guys. Look at here 13 blaze essence. And I believe we have three seeds actually now. Let's see. Another one should hopefully get placed soon. There we go. All right. So one thing I did learn is that you can actually choose where you want your seeds to place. So we're going to choose half of it to be placed there, and the other half we're going to choose as redstone to be placed. And this is something I haven't actually done before. I'm really happy about because I can now use farms as dual bits, which is awesome. All right, that goes in there. Now let's place both of those guys there. And the other, these guys should only be placed, boom. And those guys should only be placed, boom, and they should still work let's see just as a test we'll see in just a second if it works come on there we go redstone redstone there we go and then blaze will place into there one two oh wow that grew extraordinarily fast now why aren't blaze essences being transferred now there we go there we go. Okay. So we only need eight of these. Five, six, seven, eight. And the rest can go in there. And everything else will be fine. So now we're going to make ourselves these experienced tomes. So that's going to go there. Blaze rod. And we're going to go experience. Experience. These guys are made using the strong essence, which we can get. We just need a gas tier, a blaze rod, and an ender pearl. Now, I don't think... I think gas tiers are actually different than... Um, I think gas tiers are actually different than ghasts. Or than tiers. Um, let's see. Ghast tier. So we have tiers. Can we use these to make regular ghasts? So they can be used, I think, everything. Oh. Or dictionary. What's an or? Dictionary. Huh. Maybe they could be used a little. Well, we'll find out in just a second. Otherwise, we'll probably just swap it out. Um, and actually, so we'll also need a experience. Experience. So we're also going to need a magma cream. So that is a slime ball. Do I have slime? 
I thought I had slime. Hold on. It'll be slime ball or gelinated slime. Okay, I have slime. So next, so we'll grab that. Then we'll grab an ender pearl from over here. And we should be rock and rolling. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have this kind of slime over here. I actually wonder. Can these be used? No, this is jelly. Oh, perfect. That just made my day. All right. Now let's head up here. We're going to make our different tiers of whatever, and we should be good. Uh, so we're going to need all the different tiers to make ourselves the strong, weak, then blah, blah, blah. So we're going to start here. We're going to go weak. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Make a uh, full stack of that. Then regular. Just cut that in half. And then strong. Strong. Let's grab one of those. Then let's go like that. What am I missing? Oh, an ender pearl. That's okay. Grab some of these. I'm gonna go like that. And now we can do it. No, we can't. Seed. Boom, 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 boom. Tear. Boom, boom. I did that wrong anyway. Tear goes up there, that goes there and there. All right, well, let's substitute that out. I guess here, we'll substitute it out. Boom, boom, boom. Huh. Give me one second. We're going to swap this guy out. I think my internet might be down, though. Who knows? Give me a second. I need to check what's going on. All right, so I'm waiting on ASICs to bring back up their website hosting, but that's all right. Um, their website stuff is down right now. Not a big deal, though. But in the meantime, let's work on our... Let's work on our... What's it called? Um, storage drive. I want to throw a 64K into there. So that means, oh wow, what are these? What are these? Spatial storage? I have never seen these before. Giga storage cluster? Mega storage? Kilo storage? Storage clusters? Storage blocks? Wow, that's all new, that's incredible. Wow. That's awesome. Fluid storage. So this seems to store fluid. How do you make those guys, by the way? Yeah. All right. So let's um, let's work on. Hmm. Are 64k's not even in here anymore? Oh yeah, they are. So you need a storage cluster, but for the giga storage, giga, a kilo, you need three storage clusters. Man, that would be a lot of work. All right. Well, let's work on one storage cluster for now. Once we get an auto thing, we'll get that going. But let's work on an orange storage cluster for now. So that means we're going to need... All right, that means we're going to need a um, bunch of these. Let's see. Storage cluster, you need one, two, three. So that means you're gonna need three times one, two, nine storage segments. Nine times 27 storage cells. So that means we're gonna need 27 uh, 27 times nine or plus nine, 36. We're gonna need 36 of those guys. So that is going to be these, and we're going to need a redstone, and we are going to 36. That will only. We need more than that. We need four more. Okay, and then the quartz cutting knife. That is either down here. Quartz, yeah, there it is. Quartz cutting knife, and then gold is right here. All right, so 36 of them. It's gonna go boom, boom. I'm gonna go redstone. Oh, we need um, one, two, three, four more even. All right, so let's go smelt these guys up, and we'll go. So my idea is to ultimately get this guy going. 
um, get this stuff over here going, but I need to get my automatic generator, and I think I'm going to hardcore get a bunch of, um, materials. I'm, by that I mean I'm going to get a bunch of Certus and ensure that we'll be good on Certus before we do anything, but uh, it'll be great because I'm really excited to really get that going. I have a lot of ideas. I kind of want to integrate everything into our admin system ultimately, where it comes out, uh, while that's smelting I'll explain, so it's going to come out over... From this guy we're gonna have build a second one of these that are based we're gonna have one to work on each individual kind and we'll do it have them running all the time but um we're gonna have three of these one is gonna be for um making cop or uh, making gravel one is gonna be for making iron or um dust and one is gonna be for making sand and that means these guys will be generated but you can see that these stores run out actually kind of fast and how I'm going to deal with this is we are going to use these things in here. They are um, at mod.applied energistics. We're going to use these storage monitors. So we're going to import everything into the storage mod or into our ME system. Then we'll have the storage monitor literally sit. We'll have one storage monitor over here and it'll tell us how much we have. But to access and get it out, we just go into the ME system. So we have the same basic thing as before. Just everything gets into the ME system. And then if we want to show it, we can show it. But that means we're going to have to have a huge power source going into this guy. Because it'll suck up a lot of power to power a lot of monitors like that. So it's going to be some work. But it'll be worth it in the end, in my opinion. Let's grab this stuff so that we don't actually need to wait here and we can just throw it right into the smeltery over there and then let's get to going and seeing what else we kind of need so 64 K's are not too bad to make they're just kind of um they could get very annoying it's just that they need require so much material that it's just so much and a story <laughs> all right 28 or 26 Plus three, that's gonna be 29. Um, 30. All right, we are going to, let's look in here again. We want the 64K, where is it? So that is going to be a storage cluster. So we are going to need the cells, right? And then we need glass, which I believe we actually have. We should have enough glass. Let's check for that, and then we're going to need to make this do the same thing with diamonds, so we'll have to do all that. And actually, how many diamonds are we going to need to use for the 64k? If it's here, so that's, um, that's just, four diamonds, okay. And then let's grab some sand, or check how much glass we have. Glass. We have 28 glass. <clears throat> and then we're going to need four diamonds. Then let's throw that into there. Let's turn this guy off. Whoops. Where'd that get sucked into? I hope it didn't. Okay. Well, anyway, that got turned off, so we're going to let it smelt. It'll or start working. It'll make gravel, and the gravel will turn into glass once it's going. We have some work to wait on here. But... Once we go up here, we should be ready to check the next stage of this. How you doing? 22. Perfect. So we're going to make the rest we need. Then we are going to switch it to that. Do we have redstone in here? We do not have redstone in there. Oh, that's still smelting. Incredible. All right. I'll be back once I have a proper more amount of materials, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Also, by the way, guys, I have this ghast here, which we can now get to make our experience seeds. Yay! So, nether, we're going to teach that, turn that off. We're going to go like that. And we're going to do half nether, half um, that to experience. And then, okay, so we are going to place one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like that. And that should be good. Let's place this stuff in there. Let's get rid of that. All right, so that guy should go. And now I'm gonna head up here and we'll make these diamond ones. And actually for our sacrifice, bye bye one tier. And boom, boom, four, perfect. Nice to see that going though. How much do we have in there? 22. So we are going to need to we probably are going to need a lot more redstone, which is actually a bummer. 
Oh, yeah. All right, so four. Man. All right, I'm going to have to get a lot more materials. So I will, like I said, be back once I am ready completely to craft it. All right, I think we might be ready actually to start some crafting here. So let's look at the 64K again. And let us go all the way into this section. All right, so we need some Certus. Let's grab that. Let's grab some redstone. And the reason I have so much redstone all of a sudden is because actually I had all of those redstone seed essences, so I used those all up, and one makes a lot. All right, so we're gonna go like that. We only have enough for 16. What am I out of? Okay, we need... We need to remember not to use a certain amount. We need to leave off nine. All right. So those nine we're not gonna use. We're gonna go like that. All right, it's gonna go boom, 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 boom. We're gonna put those guys there and then redstone on the outside. All right, there's 27. Perfect. Then we are going to go back into the 64 section. We're going to tell it that we want to make these now. There's nine. Then we're going to tell it that we need the 64. We want to make, whoops, what am I missing? We want to make, didn't we? Oh, glowstone, okay. Glowstone, glowstone, there we go. Mm. And then we're gonna go like that. We got three. Then we are going to go like this. Boom. Then we are going to go like this. What am I missing? Iron? Yeah. One, two, three. Perfect. We got a storage cluster though. That's awesome. All right. Boom. ME 64K storage. That is awesome. Nice. So now we have a lot more storage in there. Man, we are really making some awesome progress. I'm really happy about it. That sounds very unsarcastic. I'm actually very happy the way that this series is kind of kind of going at this point. Let's see, let us um let's grab the things that made it all the way around over here. Let's place that back on there, place that back on there. Let's swap this to that. And let's turn that around. Yeah, like I said, I am really happy the way that this series is now kind of shaping out. Uh, like I said earlier as well, I want to get this experience stuff. And I want to get it going as fast as we can because experience is honestly super, super cool. And I want to get these other crops. I want to get these hammers going. Um, then I want to get this whole system kind of set up. I want to get an automatic system. We might even make an awesome little room just for the ME automatic system. Who knows? We'll see what's going on with that. But I think we should be good the way that this series or that this episode is now. We've done a bunch of work today. We've um, got two new kinds of seeds growing. We battled some withers. We created 64K. We've done a Cool amount of things. That's kind of awesome. We got a good amount of just kind of catching up and updating to do. The only thing that we're kind of lacking now is these. And actually, maybe before we sign off here, let's look at this. We have sprinklers. These sprinklers are used from Lucky Blocks and are from Oven Blocks, and they should be able to increase the speed of the processing. So let's make a sprinkler. What do you guys say? So that's iron. Um, where's my iron? Then we're gonna need some redstone and some sticks. We'll make two sprinklers for now. Boom, boom. We're gonna go like that. Oops. And it's gonna go there and there. There, there. Then we're gonna place these guys right there. Perfect, two sprinklers. And you can see you can place them down, but they need to be placed on top of a, well, let's see. They need to be placed on top of a one of those things. Why can't I think of the name? I don't know. A bucket. Or um, a tank. So let's grab a pickaxe. Diamond pick. Then let's grab another. What's it called? Um, let's grab some glass. Then let's... Gla let's get to go like that. Then let's grab another bucket. 
All right, and let's make ourselves some obsidian. Um, a tank, actually. Let's look up the recipe. Tank, I believe, yeah, four obsidian. So that's not too bad to make, actually. I'll take a second or two. I'm going to go like that. We're going to go also like that. I'm going to place that there, that there, that there. One obsidian. One. Two. Boom. Boom. Two obsidian. Boom. 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 Three obsidian. And... Four obsidian. Nice. Ready? I'm gonna head up here. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna go like... Plus sign obsidian. Perfect. Then we are going to grab these, place these guys right here for now. And we are literally going to just fill them up with water. Alright, fill these guys up with water as much as we can. They hold a lot of water. Which actually doesn't seem like a ton amount, but it really is a lot of water. Alright, boom, full. Alright, now we are going to pick these guys up. One, two, two tanks full of water. We're going to move these guys over here. We're going to place them right there. Then we are going to go like that. Then we are going to, you can see, sprinkling time. And that should increase the speed of crops. Now you can place bone meal in there. So let's place this guy here, that on there. I don't know how many. That's kind of cool though. All right, let's see. Um, bone meal from over here. Do I have any bone meal? Any bones? No, but we've got a ton of bones over in our other area. So let's see. Let's grab some bones because this bone meal does I don't know if it helps with the production of um these guys but I know it does help so we'll check it out we'll grab four stacks of that should be good it's something I did realize you have to be standing over here for it to work I don't know why it's really annoying because that means I have to afk over there if I want it to work but um that's really all I know about it all right that's gonna go a little make four stacks is really not much I can afk there for about a half an hour and get all of that well more than back all right, that goes there. Then we'll grab this stuff here. All right, and we'll make it even. But you can see, it should start using the sprinkler, or um, the bone meal, which is cool. All right, guys, I think that should be good for today, though. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please leave a rating? Let me know how I did. Watch these guys, they're actually kind of growing a little bit faster, which is kind of cool. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.